Hello and welcome to 24 in the OC. I'm Mike Hegedus. In this program, we're going to introduce you to some of the interesting people that run some of the most unique businesses in all of Orange County. And trust me, this first one, definitely qualifies. It holds all the mystery of a metal tube with a propeller on one end. The cause... That's exactly what it is. But simple doesn't mean it isn't ingenious. In fact, simple is what makes it so. Very simple. It's uh, incredible that somebody has not come up with this a long, long time ago. Simplicity is really what it's all so about. The genius here is in how simple it is. That's right. The best inventions are always those devices that are very simple, very powerful, and very cost-effective. Mark Holmes is the CEO of Green Wave Energy Corp. of Newport Beach, and what he's done is collect under one corporate roof a number of easy-to-understand alternative energy-generating technologies using both wind and water, all in the prototype stage. And while they may vary in technique, they all have one basic idea in common. They make energy, and they make money. It can make money, and it also produces a lot of jobs for a lot of people around, around the United States. So-called green technology has a long history of government support and little commercial success. Pull away federal subsidies, and that sound you hear is the thud of green energy hitting the rocks. Solar exhibit number one. Holmes is convinced he has found a business model to change that. As I heard so many people in the mainstream media saying, no, you can't make renewable energy cost-effective, and I thought to myself, I think I can do this, and after long, hard search, I found some technology that I strongly believe can either compete with or beat fossil fuel in terms of cost. Few things are more simple than the up and down nature of the ocean, which is all it takes to turn this gizmo into an electrical generator. Well, it stays stationary in the water, and it works off of what they call the oscillation of the wave, which is actually the water going up and down. If you've ever been in a boat or a yacht out in the open ocean, you probably felt that motion pushing up and down. Well, when the water goes up, it turns the propeller at the bottom of the pipe, it spins the turbine, and it creates electricity. And then when the water goes back down, it spins the propeller again, which turns the turbine, and makes more electricity. The uniqueness of this particular device is that it uses the water going two ways, as opposed to every other device only using the water going one way, like in a common water current turbine. And where better to try it out than on an island? Santa Catalina, 22 miles long and 8 miles wide, with a population of around 3,700, not counting seasonal tourists. It's here that Green Wave wants to put a series of its prototypes in the ocean just offshore and is working with local officials to get it done. The plan there ultimately is to run Catalina Island on renewable energy, and that would be ocean wave energy and uh, wind energy. They've been held hostage to diesel fuel production, basically being the only way to generate energy on the island. It's not a very good way to take uh, the absolute pristine paradise, right, and have people live on it because the diesel is toxic. So if we can change that dynamic and ultimately get them ocean wave generating plants and wind turbine plants that generate all their electricity, then perhaps we can bring that away and put some paradise. A paradise powered the simple way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Over 13, over 13.